Uh, what's going on guys? It's Kate Titan here with a brand new video for you guys, but first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we're going to be jumping back into our Balloon Star Defense 6 walkthrough slash playthrough slash guide. And for today's guide, we're going to be jumping onto Lotus Island Half Cash Mode. So for this mode, I will have my Monkey Knowledge turned off, and I will be using Quincy as my hero. So now that we went ahead and covered that, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So some of you guys uh, are wondering why I have my monkey knowledge turned off and that's just because it's going to make the guide easier for lower level pl players to follow along to. Now when we start getting into some of the harder maps I will be turning my, my monkey knowledge on but I'm going to be trying to beat as many maps with, with, my mo or with my monkey knowledge turned off as I possibly can. But believe me guys, in my opinion, uh, half cash mode is probably the hardest mode to deal with, even harder than chimps in most cases. Now, some of you guys may dis dis disagree and say that Apocalypse is harder or uh, alt alt alternate balloons rounds is harder. But in my personal opinion, half cash mode is the hardest mode in balloons tower defense six, especially when you have your monkey knowledge turned off. So now that I went ahead and went on my little bit of a half cash rant, uh, the first thing that we're gonna that we're gonna be starting off with is we're gonna we're gonna be starting off with our dart monkey. So what we want to do is we want to place our dart monkey right here. I do know that we could place it to the left and it could pop more balloons, but there is a very specific re reason why I have my dart monkey placed right right here. And uh, if and uh, if if you guys can pick it up, it's basically because I want our dart mo monkey to get two pops at once. So that's exactly why I placed my dart monkey right here. All right, so now we can go ahead and leak a couple of lives. Of course, we will be leaking quite a few lives here, here guys. And the reason why we're, le we're, we're gonna le leak a couple of lives is of course, we do not have any e extra support uh, because we don't have a free dart monkey or we can't afford to buy a monkey sub. Uh, and, that's, and that's where the monkey knowledge really comes into play. So the next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to be grabbing ourselves another dart monkey here and we're going to be place, placing him on the left side of the shield like so. And now that we have the second dart monkey placed down, we're going to go ahead and speed things up and we're going to be saving up for a third dart monkey at this point. And guys, when it comes to placing down your dart monkeys, it is kind of important to try and place them as close to where I have them as as you possibly can. The reason being is, of course, uh, I, I place my dart monkeys to try and benefit future rounds all right so now the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing down another dart monkey right here like so and then we can go ahead and speed things back up yes guys this dart monkey at the very very top is very very important so now that we have uh three of our dart monkeys placed down we're going to go ahead and save up to buy a monkey sub now guys uh there is ways or there are ways to lose uh less lives uh by using these plants here uh, I think the only time I'll use the plants is going to be on round 40 to make sure that we don't uh, end up leaking any lives. But if you guys want to be a little bit more, uh, or if if you guys want to be a little bit more act active with with not losing lives, uh, feel free to pop these uh, flowers like 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 so. And what it will do is it will give your towers a little bit more time to actually hit the balloons. All right, so now the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be saving up to buy our Quincy. It shouldn't take us too long to afford our Quincy, but he is very, very important to get on the field as soon as possible. Uh, le let me see. So we should probably be able to afford him probably on round 11 or 12. Uh, as long as this Dart Monkey can go ahead and pick up a little bit of slack. I think, I think we're gonna lose a couple more lives here. Yeah, I kind of figured so. Because again, we don't have a lot of popping power on the field just yet. All right, so now we have a rush of green green balloons. I'm not going to be surprised if, if, if we lose one life here. Uh, again, uh, it's all dependent on where you have your dart your dart monkeys placed down, because if you get the good place if, if you get the good placement, uh, you're less likely to lose a couple of lives. But unfortunately, if uh, you have a couple of your dart monkeys kind of misplaced, uh, you are a little bit more likely to lose a couple more lives. All right, so now the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing down our Quincy right here. Uh, you're going to know where to place down your Quincy because you basically want his area of effect to touch the very bottom of the peninsula like so. And now that we have our Quincy placed down, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be buying our monkey sub that we're going to be able to afford on round 15. So what we're going to do on round 15 is we're going to go ahead and play things a little bit on the slow side because we're going to, we're going to be placing down our monkey sub mid round. And we want to make sure that, that we get in place in the place that we want to get in place. 
that makes sense. All right, so uh, round 15, let's go ahead and play it a little bit slow. We should be able to afford our monkey sub here in just one second, uh, roughly when the pink balloons start to come out. And there we go. So we're basically going to be placing our monkey sub here to go ahead and assist with uh, popping some some balloons. If, if we have a, co a couple of balloons slip through, it's not the end of the world. But uh, this monkey sub is very important in getting placed down. All right, now that we have this monkey sub placed down, we're going to go ahead and speed things back up. And we're going to be saving up for twin guns. Of course, because the twin guns on the monkey sub does lend quite a bit of support. And it does add a lot of popping power. It's basically like, like, like having two monkey subs placed down. All right, so we should be able to afford our twin guns here in just one second. Uh, I'm going to try and avoid uh, using... Uh, Quincy's rapid fire unless we actually need it which I think the first round that we need it might be round 22 or it might be round 21 uh I'm kind of uh blanking on what on what on what round uh, we get the rush of uh I think either black balloons or white balloons I right, so round 20 uh we shouldn't have an issue with round 20 let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit here uh, this is when or round 20 round 21 is when is when we're gonna activate the rapid fire because we have pink balloons We have yellow balloons and it's just a little bit too much for our monkey sub to deal with So let's go ahead at this point upgrade our monkey sub to long range Now we now we can go ahead and speed things back up because we don't have Quincy's ra rapid fire off of cooldown All right, there we go. We're gonna lose a couple more lives here uh, Again again guys, uh, this, this isn't a perfect run of of course because we don't have a lot of popping power just yet but we will at some at some point get a decent amount of popping power going it's just it's just gonna take take us a little bit in order to get all, all of our towers going all right and there we go perfect uh we were able to finish off round 23 no issues now the next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to be going for full metal jacket so as soon as we can afford to buy a full metal jacket we're going to go ahead and do so and in case you guys missed it you also want to make sure that your sniper monkey is on is is on strong all right round 25 with a purple balloons we definitely want to activate our rapid fire because purple balloons again are going to be a little bit too much for our towers to deal with all right now the next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to be going for uh advanced intel because we want our monkey sub to assist our towers in dealing with uh some of these balloons uh this 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 is when things gets really really sketchy uh we're definitely gonna get get, get dropped down to uh, yeah we're we definitely got dropped down to uh very very low lives here uh and this is due to us not getting prime positioning on our dart monkeys but now that we have advanced in intel on our monkey sub we're 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 ah, we're gonna be set all right so now the next thing that we're gonna be going for uh is we're gonna be going for fast firing and then even faster firing on our sniper monkey and again guys if you guys have monkey knowledge turned on uh you guys won't have as rough a run as i'm having right now uh but again it's mainly due to the fact that we don't have that free dart monkey off the start and uh the monkey sub or we, we don't have the military monkey discounts uh we also don't have the primary expertise which is going to you're not primary expertise but the primary monkey knowledge that increases our dart monkeys uh firing and then on top of that we don't have the uh hero knowledge either all right, so we're sitting pretty, pretty well so far. Uh, we should be able to afford our air burst starts here in just one second. So as soon as we can afford to buy our air burst starts, we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and buy them. Uh, let's go ahead and activate Quincy's rapid fire on round 35 because there are quite a few balloons and we don't want to risk losing on round 35. Because as you guys can tell, we cannot afford to leak another balloon. There is no way, shape, or form that we will survive another leak. So we're basically playing on chimps half cash mode right now. All right, so let me see. The next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to be going for twin guns. So as soon as we can afford to buy our twin guns, we're going to go ahead and buy it. All right, and there's our twin guns. Perfect. Now that we have our twin guns, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be going for a spacery or a spike factory. So as soon as we can afford to buy our spike fa factory, we're going to go ahead and place it in the very, very back. And then on round 40, things are going to get a little bit interesting because that's, because that's when we're going to start... Uh, using these lotus flowers so there's our spike factory and we should be able to afford uh fast faster production here towards the end of round 39 let's go ahead and activate quincy's rapid fire here because i don't want to risk losing on round 39 
All right, so there's our fastest production. And now we're going to go ahead and activate uh, the first Lotus Flower here. And then as soon as the uh, Moab Balloon gets over here on this side, we're going to go ahead and activate the Lotus Flower one, one more time. And we're going to activate the Lotus Flower again over here. And this is where the Sniper mon Monkey is going to put in work. We're going to go ahead and act activate it one more time. And now we can go ahead and speed things back up. Uh, again, I, I know the Lotus fl Flowers might be a little bit on the hard side to work with. But I did my best to try and explain when you guys need to act activate your Lotus Flowers. Alright, so now the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be play placing a Wizard Monkey right here. And we're going to be upgrading him to the Wall of Fire. Uh, if, if you guys have ever used the center pathway with, with Wizard Monkey before, you guys know how good the uh, Wall of Fire can actually be. And if you guys missed it on round 43, I went ahead and act activated Qu Quincy's Rapid Fire to go ahead and deal with that rush of ceramic balloons. Just because uh, we, we needed to make sure that we get or we, we needed uh, to get our Wizard Monkey going as soon as possible now now that we have our wizard monkey going we should be uh good good to go all right now the next thing that we're going to be saving up for is we're going to be saving up for a second wall of fire the reason why i i always go for a second wall of fire is because when one wall of fire isn't active it's always nice to have a second one going all right now we're we're, we're, we're going to be up upgrading the same exact thing uh super super sketchy uh, but we en ended up surviving surviving that I ended up act activating our Quincy's rapid fire a little bit too late But now that we have these two uh, Wiz w w wizard monkeys going with their wall of fires We are setting in a very very good position now the next thing that we're gonna that we're gonna be going for is we're gonna We're gonna be going for a bomb shooter and then we're gonna be going straight for recursive cluster uh, The main things that, that we're gonna be paying attention for is, is, is we're gonna be paying attention for Moab balloons because even though we have a monkey sub, our Moab popping power is still very, very low. So uh, whenever we see a Moab balloon, we're going to go ahead and act activate Quincy's rat, rat rapid fire just to make sure that we don't lose to a Moab balloon. Because even, even though we do have a spike factory in the very, very back, uh, he is kind of weak when, when when it comes to dealing with balloons because we only have him up, up upgraded to a fast, fast production. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and upgrade to Recursive Cluster with uh, bigger bombs. So we'll buy heavy bombs as well. Uh, now that we have Recursive Cluster, we, we can kind of take a little, a little bit of a breather here because now we have uh, quite a bit of popping power going. The next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to be going for a Boomerang Monkey. Now, what we want to do with this Boomerang Monkey is we want to place him so uh, he isn't being blocked by this Lotus Flower right here. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade him to Red Hot Rangs with uh, Improved Rangs. Then we're going to go ahead and upgrade him all the way up to more, I think it's more Glaives. All right, so there, there we go. We're paying attention to these Moab balloons uh, because if any Mo Mo Moab balloons may, may make it pretty much next to our, our, our Quincy, we want to go ahead and activate our Rapid Fire. There's our Glaive Ricochet. Now that we have Glaive ri Ricochet, we're going to go ahead and go straight for more Glaives because more Glaives is absolutely beastly when it comes to dealing with round 63, especially when you pair it with a, uh, a bomb, sh a, a recursive cluster. All right, our Quincy is officially now level 10. So now we have a little bit of a safety net when it comes to uh, some of the higher tiered rounds. In case any balloons slip through, we can go ahead and activate Quincy's uh, storm arrows to go ahead and uh, deal with any balloons that happen to slip through our defenses. And there's our more glaives. And now that we have our more glaives, guys, our defense is sitting pretty, pretty tight. And now we're now we're gonna go ahead and go for a monkey village because now that we have more glaives, we have our recursive cluster. We do need a, a camo detection on these two towers, and unfortunately, we just don't have that camo detection just yet. All right, there we go, perfect. Now, now, uh, as you guys can see, I do still have the sniper. I have the spike factory. I still have all of my dart monkeys, and I still have my. Uh, monkey sub two uh let's 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 go ahead and activate our storm or our yeah our storm arrow there just to make sure that uh those balloons don't make make it too too far because as you guys can tell we cannot risk a single balloon slip, slipping through so i'm not going to take any chances and if i have my abilities off of cooldown i'm going to go ahead and use them 
All right, now the next thing that we're going to be going for, like I already said, is we're going to be going for, oops, uh, reinforced Moabs, activate Quincy's rapid fire because those reinforced Moabs are a little bit of a pain to deal with. But now we have our, ray, our radar scanner and we are setting very, very good, guys. Uh, now that we have ample camel popping power, we have ample uh, ceramic popping power, we have ample lead popping power, we are good to go. Like I said, the next thing that we'll, uh, let's, uh, and again, the, uh, we're going to go ahead and act, act, uh, activate storm arrows against the re reinforced Moabs because the only thing we're lacking right, right now is, uh, Moab popping power, but don't worry guys, we will get to the point where we're, we're going to have our Moab popping power and what we're going to use for our Moab popping power, uh, are going to be, uh, Moab maulers, which is going to take us too long to be able to afford them. So, uh, but we're going to go ahead and try to save as much money as we possibly can. And we're going to be going for a tier four monkey village first. All right. We're going to go ahead and activate Quincy's rapid fire on round, uh, 65, I think that was, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and upgrade to primary training. And guys, I do apologize if this uh, guide seems a little bit off. Uh, it's just because, uh, Lotus I Island was definitely probably the hardest map that I've tried to come up with a half cash strat using no monkey knowledge. All right, so now uh, the next thing that we're gonna be going for, like I already said, is we're gonna be going for primary mentoring. Uh, and every time we see a Moab balloon, uh, we wanna be wary because uh, they are a little bit on the hard side to pop, even though we have all of these towers placed down. So that's why uh, whenever I see a, Mo a not a mobile balloon, but every time I see a BFB, I do want to make, or I do want to act, activate my rapid fire. And it's more of a safe, a safe, uh, a safety precaution just in case that, or uh, just in case our balloon or our towers, uh, words are hard, just in case our towers cannot deal with the BFB. Uh, if, if we have Quincy's rapid fire off the cooldown, we are guaranteed to beat that BFB. All right, now the next thing that we're gonna, that we're, we're going to be going for is we're going to go ahead and start getting our Moab Maulers going. And now you now you guys get a little bit of an idea of why I went ahead and uh, went for the Tier Four Monkey Village first before going with the Moab Maulers because now that we have our Tier Four Monkey Village, we get the first two are the all Tier One up upgrades for free. Ugh. I'm not sure why words are hard, but words are kind of hard today. All right, so there we go. Now we have our first Moab Mauler. Now at this point in the guide, what we're going to be doing is we're, is we're going to be going for three Moab Maulers. And now that we have the Moab Maulers, our popping power is getting better and better round by round. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and go for our second Moab Mauler. And what we want to do with this one is we want to place it down as far as we can get it. Of course, we're going to be able to get uh, the first two up or the first two upgrades for free because we have the tier four monkey village. All right, round 74 is not going to give us an issue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for our second Moab Mala here in just a second. Uh, at this point, um, uh, I'll, I'll just stick it out with you guys. But, uh, all right, guys, while we're buying these Moab Mullers and we're finishing off these last couple of rounds, I just want to say thank you guys again so much for the support on the, the channel. I'm sorry that this guide is kind of long, but there's a lot of moving parts, especially when it comes to half cash mode and not using monkey knowledge. As you guys can tell, we definitely dropped super, super low here. Uh, is there a better way to, to do this? Most certainly. And the better way to do it is just turn your, is just turn your monkey knowledge on, guys. It will make this guide 10 times easier to follow along to. All right, there's our third Moab Mauler, and then we're gonna then we're gonna go ahead and go for heavy bombs as soon as we can afford to buy our heavy bombs. And now at this point, the last thing that we are gonna be doing is we are going to be upgrading our monkey sub to triple guns. So as soon as we can afford to buy our triple guns, we're gonna go ahead and buy it. Uh, let me see, round 78. I think we have one more rush of ceramic balloons on round seven, se uh, round 78. That might give us a little bit of a hard time. So let me, let me see here. There's that rush of ceramic balloons. We're gonna go ahead and pay attention to it, but we were able to deal with it, no issues. All right, we should we should be able to afford our armor piercing darts here on round, seven, on round 79. And of course the armor piercing darts will make round 80 much much easier and we'll also make the uh, rest of round 79 
easier as well. All right, and then the last thing that we are going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading our Sniper Monkey to Large Caliber to go ahead and make easy work of round 80. All right, we just have these last two reinforced BFBs to, de to deal with, and now we have the ZOMG. All right, so uh, as soon as the ZOMG gets within range of our Quincy, we're going to go ahead and activate Quincy's Rapid Fire. And then following act activating Quincy's rap Rapid Fire, as soon as the uh, BFBs are popped, we're going to go ahead and activate Quincy's uh, Storm or er Arrow Storm, and then we're going we're to be good to go. But anyways, guys, there we have it. That is Lotus Island Half Cash Mode. A uh, super, super scuffed version, but I went, I went ahead and played it like five times in a row. Uh, with varying results depending on the placement of certain towers. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Of course, if you enjoyed, please feel free to hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloons Tower Defense 6 content. But anyways, guys, you already know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I will see you guys in the next one.